Folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Check it in from an undisclosed location. I'm out here camping for a few days with no stranger to the channel. I got Nick over there, my air gun guru. And I have Dana from Mountain Sports Air Guns. He's showing us some of his. And Marley, yes, can't forget Marley. So we're out here getting on some ground squirrels, getting on some jackrabbits and cottontails. Hopefully we'll have uh, some meat in the pot tonight to cook. We're gonna take you along on this adventure. So you guys are probably wondering what sort of air gun I'm running right now. I thought I'd go old school. And on this adventure today, I brought my Benjamin Discovery 22 caliber which is no stranger to the channel. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, let the discovery get on some of these ground squirrels and jackrabbits and we get some live action for y'all. He just went down. Dana, talk a little bit about your uh, setup that you're running this week. This is actually a new product from Daystate. This is the new Huntsman Revere. It's a modernized, uh, basically they just added a side lever to this gun. It used to be bolt action. There's a few other changes in it. Um, this is in 177, puts out around 20 foot pounds. Fills to 250 bar, and I get right around 55, 60 shots with it. So it's got a good shot count. I like the fact that you know it's just really short, um, very compact gun, beautifully made, beautiful wood. You guys can see the, the stock on this. They've just done an amazing job, and. Normally, I would, would have gone for like a 22 or a 25 caliber, but I decided to go with the 177. I've got a 13 shot magazine, 20 foot pounds, you know, for rabbits, for squirrels, you know, for shorter range hunting. This thing is ideal. And so this is actually the first time that I've been hunting with it. I'm going to be reviewing it and I'm very impressed with it so far. It's just a, a beautifully made gun. So we'll do a after action report in the next couple days. Absolutely. All right, I got Nick, he's no stranger to the channel. Nick, what sort of uh, rig are you running today? Today I'm shooting my uh, 22 caliber gauntlet. Uh, difference is now I've put an externally adjustable regulator on it. Uh, so it's regulated for pellets and light slugs. Um, but it's just gauntlet that's been modified, bigger bottle. Um, right now it's shooting about 28 to 30 foot pounds of energy at 1700 PSI. Get about 120 shots out of a fill. Nice. A lot of people think hunting's just running around in the woods, playing tic-tac-toe out here. But a lot of it, it's like Dana and I were just talking about right now. It's just sitting down, shutting up watching and uh just observing he, dana was talking about how marley spotted a bunch of deer a while back huh? yeah about 500 yards away she spotted a just amazing whole bunch of deer and you know a lot of times we come and we sit here for hours and it's amazing what kind of animals you'll see just come you know really close to you yep it's all about slowing down, you know, high speed and all that stuff has its place, but coming out here doing this, it's just about slowing down and just listening to the woods, the sights, the sounds, the smells, it, it'll tell you everything you need to know if you'll just slow down and observe it.
So we took a little break. Marley was getting thirsty, had to get her lunch. Of course, we had to get some lunch too. Beautiful day out here. And uh, it's now mid afternoon. The wind, it's moderate, not bad. And just beautiful day. Temps are just beautiful, just perfect air gun weather. So we went back to camp for a little bit. I reset it in the disco to 50 and hopefully be able to harvest a jackrabbit this evening out here. Just beautiful country. Awesome. Glad I could bring you along. Dana, just a moment ago, got a shot off on a jackrabbit, so we'll have to get an action report from him on that. We also saw a cottontail, but he was in Grand Prix mode. He was he was out of here. And then I saw the biggest bobcat of my life. This thing was huge, and Dana saw it as well. So when we get to the truck, we'll get an after action report. So, some after action report. Uh, Dana, tell us about the latest shot that you just got off. So, I was just, we were coming back to the vehicle and we were kind of spread apart, maybe 50 yards. Yeah. And, and I ended up spotting a huge jackrabbit, and he was probably right around 65, 70 yards. I took the shot. And it went a little low. Marley was after it. And she just couldn't find him. And then uh, we were um, cutting through some of the scrub here. And I saw the hind quarter of the biggest bobcat of my life. Yeah, it was a big one. It, yeah. And it was just strolling like it was the boss of the woods. It was just taking its time, meandering, not a care in the world. So I hate seeing, you know, an animal get away like that, but chances are that bobcat is going to He's going to eat good tonight. Then also uh, we spotted, we had just come through an area and <laughs> this cottontail zips behind us. Yeah. Just did like the doorway dash. He was like two feet from us. Yeah. It was like a Black Friday shopper at Walmart. He was just taking off and... Then we uh, broke up. We tried to flush him out. Couldn't do it. But uh, the camera really doesn't show. It's starting to get dark. So we're going to head back to camp. Day two, we're back out in the field. Sometimes you have so much fun that you actually forget to uh, turn the camera on. Yeah. And uh, so just beautiful morning. Do a 360 shot here for you guys. Just outstanding morning we just saw a huge what i call a fa old fatty big old ground squirrel ran up the hill just over there so we're gonna make a metal note and come back in a little bit once uh, the pressure winds down just a tad but uh we're back out on it today and uh having fun If you guys are new to ground squirrel hunting, here, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Stuff like that makes great habitat for these ground squirrels. And then these dry creek beds, too. So they'll burrow in, and there's just a lot of lush green for them to eat. So just a good habitat if you're ground squirrel hunting. So we're hanging out in camp. We got the 
PP700, put a moderator on it. I'll be doing a video on that soon. Darnioko Tatsu or Tonto. That's the Tonto. So what we did was uh, filled up a soda can, put it out about 30, 35 yards. And we're just out here planking, having fun right now in between uh, hunts. Well, we took a, like a brunch break. We made eggs, bacon, and some corned beef hash. Always like a uh, tried and true staple when we come out here camping, hunting. Just nothing better than that. I got with Dana's filming. And if I got Nick right there, across the way, I'll show you guys here in just a second. There's three burrows, and uh, there's a good size squirrels out there. Now, we did it like if you go to a rock concert and they you see people like different acts, they do a wardrobe change. We kind of did that right now. I retired the disco for a little bit and because the Marauder pistol was getting uh, lonely, it wanted to come out here in the woods with us and hang out and shoot vermin and such. And you know, who, who am I to deny this gun that opportunity to do that? So we got the Marauder. <laughs> well, <laughs> we just had an instant where Dana felt something moving on his leg. And, you know, who knows? There's times I've sat on rattlesnakes out in the woods, so you just That's don't want to take a chance. what I thought when I felt something. Yeah. He, <laughs> <laughs> the only one calm in this situation is Marvin. <laughs> I jumped up like somebody shocked my ass. It was funny. So, all right, back to our regular scheduled program. <laughs> with my Marauder pistol Where are we? and I nailed it right there awesome redemption so finally Come on. <laughs> from a seated position with the uh, Marauder pistol the curse has been broken now. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. So hopefully we can keep this streak going. All right, Dana's keeping the true form. He's crushing it because from his location here to down there is roughly around 50 yards. And he's shooting a 177. It's windy. And he's playing whack-a-mole, hitting these headshots. It's just... Like he's got a freaking guided missile cruiser coming. <laughs> it's just crazy. Shooting really good. It has been shooting really good today. It's been awesome. Okay. All right. We nice had headshot him. This guy, fifty yards with a, a one seventy seven Day State Revere. That's awesome. Yeah, we had to come do a verification for you guys. Awesome Usually shot. They, they go back in the hole, so. Yeah. This guy was out in the open, so didn't have a chance. So we're in Dana's Jeep. We're headed on up the road just a bit because there's a secret lake out here that we're going to go out and hike to. And right now it's about 5 o'clock, so it's starting to get about that sweet time for jackrabbit hunting and uh, cocktails. So let's see if we see anything on our expedition. You gonna go swim? Living proof that we have water in SoCal. So there's some sort of seep right here. Marley's down there swimming. But as a traditional bow hunter as well, this would be a cool area to set up a blind.
So we're back out day three morning. Beautiful day. Past couple days have just been outstanding weather. Not too hot, especially at elevation. And uh, starry nights. Last night just saw a beautiful shooting star come burning in. It, it was just epic, like movie style epic. But back out with Dana, Marley. I got Nick covering my six. And uh, we're going back to where we started off first yesterday. That was just like a squirrel honey hole. Just a ton of squirrels out there. So before we hit the road, we're going to spend a couple hours out here. And uh, hopefully we get a little action uh, to show you guys. Hit him. It hits, yeah. Hit something. Mine's gonna go finish the job. So we moved operations to a new spot and we were just talking. This place is epic. Like it's from a 1950s Technicolor cowboy movie. Just beautiful. We just saw a big old fatty down on that fallen tree. Got him. Nice. So, quick after action report. Awesome three days out here. This place is just crawling with uh, wildlife. It really is. Yeah. Now, on a strange happenings, we were in the back when we spotted that big jackrabbit. Dana was talking to me, and I happened to notice over his shoulder on a hillside, a dark, like black object, probably about twice the size of Marley. And it was booking across that hill. And then it, we lost it behind some greenery. I don't know what that was. Uh, I, they, didn't, I they, didn't see it. I can imagine it may have been a bobcat. I know some of them that I've seen are very dark. Yeah. So that yeah. one's a mystery. I know they, they hunt this area. That jackrabbit, though, it looked like the size of a mini kangaroo. It was, yeah, they're big. It was like circus quality. It was huge. But, uh, Dana, I want to thank you for having us out. Oh, you're certainly welcome. It's been a fun time. Uh, we had a great time. This just goes to show you that when you come out, don't be afraid to come out. When you come out, though, bring redundancies. Like, I had one air gun. I was going to break out the Air Force uh, Escape that's regulated. Well, the regulator was leaking, and it wouldn't hold air. So if I would only brought one gun, then it would have been trip over for John. So re always remember, like, two is one and one is none. Bring bring backups of everything i mean i had drone problem i'm i had a couple different things going on so just food for thought but we're in the wild west anything can happen yeah and just uh, with that the countryside here is just epic like i'll say it again like 1950s technicolor just western movie and it's just amazing so these two guys I want to thank you guys for coming with me yeah, thank you. we had a heck of a time out here and hopefully we can do more adventures like this and bring you guys along.